Sometimes it just takes one hit game to make a console fly off the shelves. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 system sellers. Sit back and watch the whole show, but hurry up, he won't be in forever. For this list, we're taking a look at exclusive video games that were so desirable that many gamers brought a brand new console just to play them. Number 10, GoldenEye 007, Nintendo 64. Although the Nintendo 64 showcased numerous titles that are now considered classics, GoldenEye 007 was the console's selling point for numerous gamers. Part of this was because of the game's exceptional campaign, which took a more realistic approach to the first-person shooter genre. But the real appeal of GoldenEye lies in its revolutionary deathmatch mode. With a slick split-screen feature and guns galore, GoldenEye would remain the ideal multiplayer game for years and is most likely the reason you knew which of your controllers was the good one and which was the bad one that you made your friends use. Number 9, Space Invaders, Atari 2600. Kids today probably view Space Invaders as an ancient relic. I know I do. But this game does deserve serious respect, however, for being the first system seller. It's fun, but personally I think the whole idea of creatures from outer space is a little far-fetched. Debuting as an arcade game in 1978, Space Invaders was made available for the Atari 2600 two years later. This version would quadruple the console's sales, becoming the first video game to sell one million copies. Well, this is what you've been asking me for over the last few months, the Atari video game and Space Invaders. Thanks, Dad. While this might not seem like very much by today's standards, it was a true milestone for the time that demonstrated the possibilities of gaming as a business. It also exemplified that home consoles were the wave of the future and that people would pay good money for a killer app. Space Invaders, Space Invaders, Space Invaders, Space Invaders. Number 8, Grand Theft Auto 3. They want a war, they got a war. The PlayStation 2 already had good sales at launch, but most of its sales could be attributed to its DVD playback. But then, Rockstar unleashed its controversial 3D open world sandbox to the masses, and it became the hot new thing unlike anything the players had seen. As a result, the GTA series as a whole was a substantial turning point for the PlayStation 2, with San Andreas later becoming its best-selling game. Same old CJ, Buster, straight Buster. Oh shit, run! The Grand Theft Auto series' monumental success additionally motivated us to buy a PSP so we could return to Liberty City for more bloodshed in Liberty City stories. Sometimes, sex and violence really does sell. Number 7, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega Genesis. The 16-bit era was decades ago, but millennials still argue which was better, the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis. Most people would likely lean towards the SNES nowadays if it weren't for a certain blue hedgehog. With ads claiming to boast the system's blast processing, when we saw Sonic speed across the Green Hill Zone for the first time, we didn't know what blast processing was, but we knew we needed it. So what's blast processing do? With colorful graphics and fast action, it looked like Sonic would leave Mario in the dust. While Sonic has since fallen from grace, his debut game did help ignite the first console war, showing Nintendo that they weren't the only players in town. Number 6, Super Smash Bros. Melee, GameCube. As the sixth generation of gaming approached, people weren't too sure about Nintendo's next console. Given the GameCube's cartoonish design and emphasis on family-friendly content, many older consumers favored the more mature PS2 and Xbox. <laughs> With Super Smash Bros. Melee, however, gamers were reminded why they've always loved Nintendo. <laughs> Improving upon its 1999 predecessor in almost every way, this bestseller packed in even more Nintendo All-Stars for one of the most kick-ass fighting games ever. 
Although Super Smash Bros. has evolved to an immensely successful franchise, Melee is still the title that people prefer to break out at competitive tournaments. Moral of the story here, never sell those old GameCube controllers. <laughs> Number 5. Final Fantasy VII PlayStation The Nintendo vs Sega rivalry was heated, but it was the debut of the Sony PlayStation that had even more gamers split. If you were a fan of Japanese role-playing games, Final Fantasy VII likely played a huge part in your decision. For FF7 though, Squaresoft moved the beloved series to the PlayStation because N64's cartridges just didn't have enough capacity. Encompassing one of the best stories in gaming, Cloud Strife's journey took JRPGs to another level of popularity. The game was thus among the PlayStation's biggest hits, raising sales significantly. Number 4. Wii Sports – Nintendo Wii Wii Sports might not have been the most artistic or emotionally involving game ever made, but its impact cannot be denied. Even if you weren't a fan of video games or sports, this launch title still drew you in with its groundbreaking motion controls and involving gameplay. 40-15 It wasn't surprising that Wii Sports quickly became a fan favorite among groups of friends. The fact that it brought families together and even got your grandparents into gaming was the true testament to its power. Showing off the full potential of the Wii, not only did it become the console's biggest hit, but it's the second best-selling video game of all time. Perfect! Number 3. Pokemon Red and Blue – Game Boy Long before kids had their eyes glued to iPhones and iPads, there was the Nintendo Game Boy and its Link Cables. You can grab a Link Cable and a friend with a Game Boy, and with both packs you can catch them all. Although the Game Boy had been showing a decline in popularity, Pokemon Red and Blue single-handedly injected new life into the handheld console. This franchise simply took over the world becoming the best-selling RPG ever and motivating kids everywhere to become Pokémon masters. Pokémon is an undeniable obsession with children across the country. Then, once you caught all 150 pocket monsters, Pokémon Gold and Silver awaited you on the Game Boy Color. Even today, Pokémon continues to dominate Nintendo's handheld systems, with each new installment pushing new hardware. And Red and Blue is the system seller that started it all. <laughs> Number 2. Halo Combat Evolved – Xbox The PlayStation 2, the GameCube, and even the Dreamcast had their fair share of phenomenal exclusives, but you could only play that fancy new Halo game on the still unproven Xbox. Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. For many gamers, this was a reason enough to side with Microsoft. Even if none of Xbox's other exclusives interested you, it didn't really matter. With its pitch-perfect first-person shooter mechanics and various other innovations, Halo was the only game you would want to play until Halo 2 came out. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. Whether you were playing against friends in multiplayer or trying to master the campaign on Legendary, Halo proved to be an addictive force that put the Xbox on the map to stay. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Exercise your mind with Brain Age. Train your brain in minutes a day. By completing a few challenging exercises and puzzles, you can help keep your mind sharp. Number 1. Super Mario Bros. The Nintendo Entertainment System Even when gamers begin to think that they've outgrown Nintendo, this Italian plumber always convinces them to stick with the big N. While pretty much any Mario platform game could be a number one on this list, 
we had to single out the original 1985 classic. Super Mario Bros. is the very definition of a game changer due to its pioneering gameplay, as Mario not only made Nintendo a household name, but also saved the gaming industry. After the crash of 1983, everyone thought that video games would never recover. Once people laid eyes on the Mushroom Kingdom, though, they were officially sold. Do you agree with our list? I want compensation for this insult! What was the game that made you buy a whole new console? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Nothing!